When I first started graduate school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do afterwards. I knew that I didn't want to be an academician. It's not in, it's not in my blood, but I didn't know where I saw myself. I didn't see if I, I didn't know if I wanted to work in a small company or maybe go back to medical school and work as an MD, PhD. But now I see myself more of a, more of an entrepreneurial chemist. I see myself as someone who can work hard. I don't really mind about the hours, but get things done in a timely fashion so we can move innovation forward. I joined PhD program because I like polymer science. One of the biggest, say, changing points was I applied for a scholarship, Eisenberg School of Management scholarship, and that scholarship gave me a chance to take multiple courses in School of Management. I took courses on technology management, innovation, financial reporting, negotiation, and they changed my thinking a lot. Just doing PhD is not enough. You need to understand how a company is performing. I need to understand the balance sheet of a company. If I don't understand that, I would never understand why am I doing this science. I can't do a job which is only science-based. I need to do a job which involves commercialization of science. I guess as an entrepreneurial chemist, I see myself more of someone who likes to see the, the final end point of the research. The problem with a lot of uh, research and the thing I see with some graduate students is the graduate student asks, why is this being done for science? All graduate students, along with their science, must take classes, management classes. There are abundant opportunities to go for workshops, like one-week workshops on entrepreneurship, research to innovation. You understand how to talk to people from different ends, convince them the importance of your research so that they are willing to at least listen to you. That's the first step before anybody would pay you for anything. Learn from people who have started businesses and started companies to take a look and try to imagine themselves as the buyer of the, of the product, not just as the seller of the product.